In this example, we will format two disks, one with the traditional FAT file system and one with Datalite's Reliance Nitro file system. Each disk has a boot block, the FAT has a file allocation table, the Nitro disk has two meta roots. These are used to point to the current and last known state. Creating a file on each file system is done pretty much the same way. Write the data blocks and then update the system blocks, in this case the FAT or the meta root. The Reliance Nitro file system is set up to transact after each file operation. Each time we write a file, we change the state of the media to the next known good state. When updating a file on the FAT file system, some of the existing data is overwritten. When updating on Reliance Nitro, a copy of that block is made, and after a successful transaction point, that original block becomes a free block. While this appears to cause fragmentation, on flash media the blocks are wear leveled and therefore non-contiguous. This file update will be interrupted by a power failure. Some or all of the file data is written, but the system data write does not complete before the power is lost. After mounting the disk, the state must be verified. These blocks contain partial data. Only the application will know for sure what was written here. Essentially, the entire file can be considered garbage. Datalite's Reliance Nitro must merely determine which disk state is the current one. And to do that, we only have to read three blocks off the media. In the known good state, these blocks are still free, and this file is still good. There's no substitute for using a true transactional file system like Reliance Nitro.